Hello everyone, welcome to Living One Plant at a Time. My name is Samantha and today's um, video is going to be an update on uh, most of my Hoyas that I bought uh, in the winter time and some that I've had but are doing really really well. So if you're interested in this type of video, uh, please stay tuned and let's get into it. is my Verticillata Black Margin. And as you can see here, if anyone has seen um, my video of when I bought it, and uh, please go look at that first if you haven't. Um, it has grown a great deal. I think I had about three or four leaves only. And now, look how much it has grown. I love this plant. I like the texture. It's very glossy. And although I've noticed that the black margin has, um, is not as prominent as it used to be, but now I put it... Uh, uh, in my south-facing window, so I think it should uh, come back. Look at some of these leaves. Oh, just gorgeous. This is a very easy grower for me. Just look at that. Look at that leaf. Venation on it. Gorgeous. It's uh, constantly putting out new leaves. There's a little one over here, if you can see. And there's one over here. Let me look up close. There's actually two here. Here it is. So this is the progress. Just stunning. Versitolata Black Margin. Now, another one that I got at the same time as this one is my Fuensis. Now this, although it's a relative of uh, the Kadata, I find the Kadata um, grows much, much faster for me. This one is a slow grower. Now this is all new with this new leaf. Look how stunning that is. And it has the same characteristics as the Kanada, meaning it's fuzzy, it's very cardboardy, all this is new also. Can you see that? There's a lot of splashes. And I can't wait till this grows as much as my Kadada. Kadada is huge. I'm not going to be showcasing it today. Maybe another time. Or maybe I will because there's a peduncle and it's going to be the first flower for me. We'll see how long this uh, video is. So this is my Fluensis. Now, another one that I got at the same time which has grown tremendously is my Obscura. Now it came with just these two bottom leaves in January 
and it has grown all this. Look how glossy the leaves are. I love this. I think I'm going to put this in a higher light also so I can send stress because it's related to the um, sunrise. So this is doing pretty good. And it's a very easy going plant. I have had no problem with this. I have it in, um, what do you call it? Brain fog. Not Lekka, but anyways, I'm sure you know. Pawn, that's it. So this is my Obscura. Very um, glossy, thick leaves. Now, another one, the same time, is my Parasitica Heart Shape. Look at this plant. This has grown, I don't know, I wouldn't say as uh, as fast as my uh, Fursitilata, but it grows fast. I love the splash on this, if you can see this. Stunning, the latest leaf. And I would, it, it's grown all this and this new vine. I'm just hoping that um, leaves grow on this. So this is my Parasitica heart shape. Now, one that has finally started doing something is my Yetii Variegated. This has been a struggle for me. I finally put it in flu Flugel, and as you can see, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that. It's finally, since the winter, it has rooted. I find it very difficult. I don't know why, but it's not as easy as my half my uh, um, Yetii, the normal one. Um, and it's grown, it's given me blooms, but uh, this one, I think this is the second or third plant that I've tried with uh, this plant. So the, here it is. I hope it's finally taken off. It's a gorgeous plant. I just want a big flowing plant of this. I love the pink and the white variegation. So my Yetii variegated. Now another one that I've had 
a little bit of trouble. Um, actually, all of my uh, Lacanosas and Cronianas I've had problems with. I don't know, other people say it's very an, a very easy Hoya, but for me, um, I don't know, it just, it, it dies off. Maybe I'm watering it too much. Maybe I'm not watering it enough. I've tried so many things, but finally, as you can see, my Lacanosa Black. Just look how black the leaves are. Stunning. I don't want the water to drip. This one also. So it's given me these two vines. Finally. And I'm hoping that leaves will start to grow because it seems like, I mean, I, there was no leaves here and they dropped off. It's just, they grow up here, they grow down here. Same with this vine. But finally, I can say I'm out of the hot water. And I think, if I'm not sure, I saw a peduncle here can't see it now, but this is my Lacanosa Black. Now, another one that I got is my Carnosa Freckles, and this has taken off. I mean, it was uh, it was like half of this stunning plant. Very big leaves, not at all. Much bigger than the normal car carnosa. The splash. I wish there was more splash like this, but I think we'll get there. All, look how big this leaf is. Let me see if I can get, okay, here. Gorgeous, very hardy. And I just noticed that it's given me a peduncle. I'm sure the, um, the flowers are gonna be like the Carnosa flowers, which are very pretty. And about, I would say, two to three months ago, I took a cutting. I want to show you the cutting from this. I was going to sell it, but, and look at the cutting. I mean, this is the splash I want. So I'm going to probably put it into this plant. Just look at it. Gorgeous. So, I'm um, hopefully the other uh, leaves from this one will start becoming like this. And it's going to be a stunning plant. So that's my car Carnosa Freckles. Now, one that I got recently, not even maybe a month ago, which is gorgeous, is my Globulosa cow dang. And it came with these three leaves. And there was just, uh, there was two small leaves um, forming. One yellowed 
And this one, let me see if I can, has grown. Look at this, oh, just a stunning, stunning plant. These are, oh, look at the venations. It's so, I love it. And the other one, gorgeous. They're all just gorgeous. I have it in my uh, cabinet. High light, high humidity. I let it dry out. And, uh, but not like once I see it's dry, I'll, I'll water it. Very important. Just look at that. Oh, such, see with the sun, just a gorgeous plant. It's furry in the back and very, um, well, there's a little bit of fur in the front, but mo mostly in the back. And I just love the shine. The sheen is like, and the venations. Look at that, the ribs. Just a stunning, stunning plant. Now, I'm gonna show you two plants that are uh, not uh, new. I, ha I didn't get them uh, in the winter time. And, but they've grown so much. So, one of them is my Chin, oh, so hard to, Chin Hangensis. Look at this, it has just taken off. Look how big, oh. Look at this. It's a small leaf hoya, as you can see. There's a lot of new growth coming out all along here. This hasn't given me um, a flower yet, but I'm hoping this year, since it's growing so much. Look at this. It was a slow, I would say in the beginning it was a slow grower, but now it's just taken off. So my chun, chun hengensis. There you go, look at it. Gorgeous. This is a stunning uh, hanging plant, Hoya. But I have mine on my shelves here. I have no more space to hang it up. And the last one that I want to mention that has finally taken off for me is my Linearis, finally. Look how long it is. It just keeps going. This has been a struggle for me, but look at it. So I'm thinking of cutting these two. Now, look how long. And uh, propagating them so it'll become bushier. Because right now there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands only. Just such a gorgeous plant. Look. So I'm really happy that this has finally taken off. And that's it for my 
Um, oh, I wanted to show you, I forgot, my Kadada. So. Here is my Kadada. it this way gorgeous plant and here are the is the peduncle if you can see it there so it's budding up I'll make sure and uh, take a picture Put it, post it on my Instagram. Uh, it, when it was in my cabinet, I had it closer to the grow light, so it had uh, become pretty red. But now it's not as, it's just, it's, it's such a stunning, it's so cardboardy. It's so weird what nature can do. So. That's my Kadara Sumatra. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the updates on my Hoya. I'd love to know uh, what Hoyas are growing well for you this year, this summer. And uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, push the notification button so you'll be notified when I upload a video. Usually it's on a Tuesday. And uh, please like and comment. It really helps the algorithm. And I hope everyone has a great, great week. And see you next week. Bye.